Okay, I know we don't like to think a lot about natural disasters, but let's be honest, they happen. And as a result, insurance fraud sometimes even follows, which causes millions of dollars paid out by insurers, resulting in higher premiums for all of us. So we're going to go ahead and welcome to the show today the National Insurance Crime Bureau's president and CEO, David Glowey, to talk more about this and, of course, how to avoid fraud in an already stressful situation. David, good morning. How are you today? Good morning. Thank you for having me. I'm glad we're talking about this here. So let's talk. What do you see? What types of fraud happen? Give people kind of some background information before we really dive in. Sure. So Florida has has an issue with criminal enterprises and fraud taking taking uh, taking advantage of the people that are insured after a catastrophic loss. So just ju general numbers, in the United States, we had ninety two billion dollars in losses to the insurance industry that were paid out from claims in twenty twenty one. Of that, $9.2 billion of it were, were taken by fraudsters. And in Florida, we have two offices in Miami and Tampa to partner with state, federal, and local law enforcement to investigate and prosecute insurance crime and fraud. You know, I'm curious. I know of ways, like with hurricane season coming around, ways that we can prepare our homes, you know, to be ready if we get into a hurricane. Is there anything you can do to kind of prepare to prevent fraud? Absolutely. Preparation is key, and you know that very well in Florida. Uh, first, your safety and security. Make sure you have three days food, water, and a shelter, a place to go to get out of harm's way, and you have battery backup for your cell phone. So once you're safe and secure, that's the key. The second thing is make sure you have your insurance documents, either virtually or the hard copies of them. So after an event, you have those ready on hand to file your claims and your losses. And we can talk further about what to do after an event to vet out contractors as well. Okay, well, let's move into talking about that. How are you able to you know, make sure that the contractors, the vendors you hire are really legit ones that aren't going to be able to get you into a fraud situation? Yeah, and I, I want to say thank you to Governor DeSantis and Chief Financial Officer Patronus. Patronus, yesterday they signed a proclamation declaring Contractor Fraud Awareness Week. So we partner aggressively with Florida to protect your consumers and your citizens. So a couple key things is after an event, take a pause. Get yourself and your family safe and secure and contact your insurance carrier to start with and file that claim. The insurance carrier should have a vetted list of contractors to help you make sure you don't hire somebody that's a criminal. Also, talk to your neighbors and friends, see if they know anyone, and then get three contractor bids before you make a decision. Make sure you get those three bids and you can vet out which ones are best for the situation you're in. And the big thing here is, is don't hire somebody that goes door to door solicitation or calls you on the phone. Take a pause, and vet your contractors, work with your insurance agents, and if you do become a victim, you need to contact law enforcement. You know, and I'm curious too, and, and kind of in closing, let's talk about resources that are already out there. I mean, even just a, a Google search can be incredibly overwhelming. So what are some trusted resources that we can use to be proactive or of course in our situation if we are post natural disaster? Yeah, so we have a lot of investigators that work with your local law enforcement and your state investigators in Florida we have headquarters offices in Miami and Tampa, but you can contact us at our website at www.nicb.org. We have a toolkit and crime prevention techniques on there. And then if you have been a victim of fraud, you can file a claim by 1-800-TELL-NICB or contact local law enforcement as well. David, I'm so glad you were able to join us and share this important information today. So thank you and please take care. Thank you for having me.